This is my first year doing anything for teachers appreciation since it's Aspen's first year in school. And I thought I'd show you guys the idea that I came up with. It's like little gift baskets with a personal touch with this balloon with the teacher's name on it. So to no surprise, most of everything I got for the gift baskets I got at Target. So I got lotion, I got my favorite lip balm, which is the Bonner's Peppermint Organic Lip Balm. Vaseline lotion um, that's good for the skin and the nails. This is the pink one. I highly recommend this. The scent is not too strong. Each teacher filled out a form with their favorite snack, so I kind of knew what snacks to get for each teacher. She has three teachers in her class. Got these little cute small bottles of sparkling cider. Thought those were so adorable. And this is the garland, the balloon garland from Aspen's birthday last weekend. I was in the process of taking it down, but I decided to repurpose some of the balloons and make the gifts. Aspen hung out with me while I was making these and she's just so funny with her facial expressions. She's really coming into character and we are just loving it. So these are the snacks that I got for the teachers. Um, two of them said they liked almonds. So I got some breakfast bars that almond. One said they liked trail mix. So here we are. Um, to wrap everything, I got a tube of clear cellophane and we have some sticks to kind of help hold the balloons up. I have my craft paint out. I'm just getting everything ready. So we use painter tapes a lot at my house. It's just a good temporary solution to a lot of things. So I'm actually gonna use the painter tapes here and kind of adhere the balloon to the table so I can stabilize the balloon so I can draw on it and also paint it and do whatever I need to do without having to hold it and just keep it in place. I'm gonna use some matte red paint um, to paint apples on the balloons. So as soon as Aspen figured out what I was doing, she went in on the action. So I eventually had to give her her own balloon, her own paint. And she's actually painting a flower right now, but she wanted to do exactly what mom was doing. So I'll have to set her up before I can get started on my stuff. started I just have a regular paintbrush nothing fancy and I'm just gonna freehand an apple onto the first balloon my mom is coming through to see what we're doing what we're getting into um, she's seen me do a couple crafts before um, and she just wanted to say hi and give Aspen a kiss So I'm really just freehanding this and then just filling in the inside of the apple. And if I'm if it doesn't look right the first time, I'm just making the apple larger and just filling in those gaps. It was actually kind of quite pleasing and satisfying to just paint on a balloon. I've never done it before. I don't know why I've never done it before because we have plenty of balloons. So once I get the first one done, I'll just put it to the side and let it air dry while I work on the next couple of balloons. Aspen decided that for her teacher assistant, she wanted it to them to have white balloons. And so I'm just going to freehand more apples on the next two balloons. So I am really enjoying time on maternity leave and also having Aspen still in school because I'm probably getting to do things that I otherwise would not have been able to if I was still working full time. And it just makes my heart so happy because I always wanted to be the mom that, you know, made it to meetings, volunteered for classroom things, and I've been able to do it while on maternity leave. So it's been a blessing. I think Aspen appreciates it. I definitely appreciate it. And filming and recording and kind of posting is kind of my homage to be able to kind of look back and said, hey, I was able to, you know, do something outside of just the regular, take my kid to school and pick her up. So the paint that I'm using is actually a quick dry matte paint, which is great for this particular project. I don't think all the paint that I have uh, on the table is quick drying, but fortunately this one is. Even though it is quick drying, I need it to dry even quicker. So I have a little handheld fan out and just helping everything dry faster so I can put the second and third coat on. The goal here is to try to make the apples as opaque as possible and um, just giving it more color, more brightness. So I'm going back as soon as they dry to kind of put the next few coats on. 
So after those are all done, I'm gonna put them to the side and let them dry as I work on the actual gift wrap itself. So I'll go ahead and get the cellophane out, open that up, and kind of map out how I want to arrange the gifts inside the wrap itself. I'm gonna go ahead and open this cute little pack of sparkling cider. Uh, there's one teacher, two teacher assistants, so there'll be one extra, and maybe mama will indulge later. Um, but these are just some kind breakfast protein bars. Um, so this is gonna go in there with, of course, the cider, the lotion, and the lip balm. Just playing around with the placement trying to figure out the best way to kind of put this together so that it kind of stands up on its own you can kind of still see the products in the gift wrap and also I wanted the balloon to kind of stick right out of it so this is the placement that I ended up with and I think it turned out okay um, ended up using quite a bit of the cellophane wrap which is fine um, I have a whole roll of it wrap it up and bunch it up towards the top. I'm trying to take out any creases um, within the cellophane itself. And we're gonna wrap the top with some leftover ribbon that I had from her Easter bunny treats that I made for our school. There's a video on my page about that too where I can make these cute little Easter treats for her party. So I have a lot of leftover ribbon because um, I bought a whole bunch of these on sale at Michael's. So this is how it comes out to be and I, I'm really impressed with it. So next thing I do is I'll stick one of those little wooden sticks into the gift to kind of see where that's going to land and how tall that's going to be because again we're going to put that balloon on top of it. We don't want it to be too tall or too short and then I'll just go ahead and assemble the rest of the two gift baskets. exactly which color she wanted for each teacher which I think was so sweet and I ended up asking her the next morning um, which teacher was going to get which gift ribbon um, because I wasn't going to take her to school her dad was and she was able to tell me exactly which teacher's color um, corresponded with the gift which that was really cute we're going to bring those balloons back and add an extra coat of paint and while Aspen has a snack she's having cake with fondant but basically she's having um, cake with her fondant because that's really all she ate was the yellow part of that cake. We'll let that dry some more and we will go ahead and break out the green paint. This is a uh, green acrylic paint so it's not fast drying but I need it. This is the only good green I had for the leaves on the apples so they can look like apples and not hearts. Contemplating how I'm going to write the teacher's name on the balloons. I thought I was going to do paint, but that was going to be way too hard. So we're going to take our trusty Sharpie marker here. And this really worked very well. It has a chiseled end point on the marker, so it made writing the names quite easy. Started off with the easiest name, which is Mrs. Ford. And it went on very smoothly. Just got to really have to make sure that paint dries. So if you don't want to have your work in vain, just really 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 make sure that the paint's drying this was a big fail <laughs> the apple was too small for miss duncan's name so the ocd person to me did not um let that be so i'm gonna redo that we're gonna move on to miss swisher's balloon and hers actually turned out pretty cute so i did not like the actual balloon for miss swisher the clear balloon with the gold polka dots it just was not as clean and crisp as the others so that led me to redo two balloons 
so I am going to redo Mrs. Duncan's balloon because the Duncan, the end did not fit on the end of that apple. And then we'll redo Miss Swisher's balloon to we'll make all the balloons just all white to make it nice and easy. So I ended up doing double the work, which was quite annoying. It took me twice as long as it would have otherwise. Um, you guys know the steps already, so I'm not going to redo the steps again. But this is just um, fast forwarded footage of me redoing all the balloons. Balloons. And I actually ended up having to do redo all three of them because Aspen was holding or playing with Miss Ford's balloon and the green paint got smeared and I didn't know how to clean that up without messing up the whole balloon. So at this point it's in the evening time and that's why the lighting is different. And I ended up having to do all three balloons all on white. I did end up again with the same problem that the end did not fit on the apple so for this one i'm just gonna make the apple bigger and you know i think it worked out pretty well um instead of redoing the whole thing then of course we'll go back with the green acrylic paint for the little leaf on the apples they turned out so cute i also opted for smaller balloons this time just so that everything was more proportional. So Miss Fisher's is done, Miss Duncan, I have to let that last piece dry before I can finish the end. And then so I am going to just assemble everything, put the balloon on the sticks, but they did not want to stand up. Look at that. So they just limped to the side. So I ended up getting some trusty old scotch tape and just putting that and securing it kind of in an X pattern. And that way it just held it up with tension from both sides and it looked a lot better. So Miss Ford's done. I think this is gonna be Miss Swisher's. And then Miss Duncan, I just have to add that last piece of the letter N to the dried part. I ended up writing Heart Aspen on the bottom of the apples just so that the teachers knew this was a gift from Aspen. And I think it turned out so stinking cute. And since you watched this video, you know kind of things to watch out for and not to do so you don't do double the work. Cause I literally did each balloon twice. So here are the final products that she'll bring to school tomorrow. And then I have the first version of the balloons here. So here's where the end did not fit. And there's the edited version or the correct version. Swisher just ended up switching the balloon all together. I think the white works very well. Just give it that pop on the apple. And Miss Ford, there's that little smudge from Aspen. So I redid all of them and I think it turned out pretty good. Let me know in the comment section with pictures if you guys ended up doing something like this um, for Teacher Appreciation Week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.